Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a quick look at how to create a looping animation. Originally, I was going to create a walking cycle, but then I realized that we already have a complete walking cycle done already in Unreal Engine. But I still wanted to show you some things about a looping animation that are kind of interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Characters, Mannequins, Animations, and we'll go into Manny and you'll see that we've got this walk in place right here and let's just take a look at a couple of things here so if we click here and we go to the end we can see here that this has 82 so one thing that's interesting is if you come over here and you look at the details panel you'll see where it says sampled frames 82 right so we have 82 frames on here right this is a good way to move around so you know that you're getting on your keys notice one thing here if we look at this frame here this last frame here and look at this one you notice that they're exactly the same the first frame here zero is exactly the same as the end frame so that's really the the key at least as far as it goes in Unreal Engine and working in the sequencers the first frame needs to match the last frame and that's because if we go to this frame here second to last right the first to last how would that be second to last the frame before the last frame has to interplate down to the first frame it needs something to transition to and if there is no matching frame then you're going to notice a jump when the loop ends so this, all these keyframes need to interpolate down to the first frame so that the loop is seamless. Now how we can explore this is one way we can create a looping animation is just to try to shorten this one. So let's take a look at doing that. So if I go to the front here, we notice that this front frame here that the right foot is on the ground, right? So if I pull this out and drag it around we can get to the point where does that where is that right foot completely on the ground again and you'd think it'd be pretty much right there right on the 27th frame but rather than use this to drag around we'll use this control so that we know we're on the exact spot so on the 27th frame it looks like the foot is completely on the ground again where it started from so you'd think like this would be a good place to start from but what we can actually do is go one frame before that. And I'll show you why in just a second. So we're going to go to the, not the 27th frame, but we're going to go to the 26th frame. And then what we're going to do, and this is really tricky, if you right click here, and even if I put my cursor right there, you'll see it says remove from 0 to 37th frame, or from 38th. We're not anywhere near. What we have to do, oops, is let me get back to the 26th frame. If you click right here on the playhead, let me get right on the 26th frame. Hold your cursor right there and right click. You'll see it's a lot more precise. So you have to actually click right here on the playhead. And we want to remove the 27th to the 83rd frame. So let's do that. Now we have just the 26 frames, right? So what we can do is we can come up here to where it says Asset, and we can go Add Looping Interpolation here, and click that. And then it's going to say this will add an extra first frame at the end of the animation to create a better looping interpolation. This action cannot be undone. Would you like to proceed? And we'll go Yes. So now it's added a 27th frame that exactly matches the first frame. So if I come to the beginning and hit play, you'll see we have a perfect looping animation. So we've actually modified the existing walking animation from 83 frames down to 27 frames. Then all I have to do is come up here to go create asset, create animation, current animation. And I notice there's a difference between these two. So here it says animation data, it says create animation from the animation source data, or you can use a preview mesh. So it seems like you would use the preview mesh if there was some kind of retargeting or post-process graph going on. 
but since there's not, I can just use this one and go animation data. And I'll go to the content browser and I'll just call this walking loop and go OK. Now if I come to the content folder, I've got a walking loop right there. But instead of being, and hit F, but instead of being 83 frames, it's 27 frames. And so if I hit play, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. This was just supposed to be a quick little look at a creating a looping animation and it's in essence modifying an existing animation and making it loop on a shorter cycle. So anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.